Hi guys, welcome back. So let's have some fun. Let's make a World 15 from 2021. Pop your teams in the comments below. I'd love to know if you think your team can beat mine. I'm sure yours will be better than mine, but I'm going to give it a good crack. As just to the players that have impressed me this year, not going particularly on stats or anything like that, but just having watched the games, who I thought really, really stood out. So let's start it off going into that front row there. Kitsoff, I think, comes in at the loose head. I know he doesn't start a lot, even though I think maybe he should. But often when he comes on, he makes a huge difference, not just in the scrum, but also all round the pitch. So I do like props that can do more than just scrummage, and he certainly is one of them. Now at hooker, you've got a lot of candidates there. Mbanambi, I think, is brilliant, and Marks of South Africa, both amazing. But as an all-round player, I really like Julian Marchand of France. I think he's all action, can do everything really you know fits exactly what france need from their hooker at the moment and so consistent and at tight head i've got to pick tig furlong absolutely fantastic player monster in the scrum monster in the carry an amazing attitude you can't really teach that sort of aggression he takes into his carries love that guy so that's my front row what would yours be here's the second row i would go for sam whitelock and eben etzebeth I know I did say um, Etzebeth is my world player of the year, full stop, so he's obviously going to have to be in the team. And then it's a bun fight between a few guys for that other second row. Certainly Otoje has been decent, Diaga. Uh, but I'm going for Whitelock because he really impressed me in the middle of their international season, for sure. Great leader as well. Into the back row. Now, you could argue I'm picking three open sides here, but they do get played out of position apart from Michael Hooper, who's at seven and is my captain. Goodness me, this guy is so consistent, so consistently at a world-class level. I think Tom Curry's been excellent all year, even when he gets moved around, does play six for England as well. So I'm getting him in there at six. And Ardi Sevilla, just an explosive beast of a carrier, even though he's being played slightly out of position at eight, he still is a standout for New Zealand. Of course, you could have other players there. Doris has impressed me of Ireland, Laws of England, Hamish Watson of Scotland, Khaleesi as open side, um, Aldrit and Vermeulen at number eight, but always going to be hard on the back row. But that's the three I'm going for. Now, I also popped up the half back, so let's talk about them. I think Antoine Dupont is easily the best nine. I think Aaron Smith had been pretty good at times as well, uh, but he's my nine. At 10, Roman Intermax, certainly very impressive, hasn't always played at 10 this year. So I'm going to go for Bowden Barracks. I think he makes such a great difference when he's in that New Zealand team and the things he can do is absolutely phenomenal. So I'll go for Bowden Barrett there. Centres, I'm going to go Karevi, very close between him and Diolande, I think. But Karevi really impressed me until he obviously got injured and makes a massive difference in the power game to Australia when he plays at 12. And alongside him, it has to be Am of South Africa because he's just been so great the whole season. Ring Rose has really started to impress me for Ireland as well. And in the back three, well, we've got two South African wingers here for sure. We've got uh, Makazole Mapimpi, who's just phenomenal in the air and finishing. Just an all-round great. Uh, Lewis Rees Samets impressed me with his speed. But I still think there's more to come from him. And the other guy I would pick, even though he has been injured a bit, is Cheson Colby. Makes such a difference to South Africa. And I don't think there's a winger like him in the world. Fullback's fairly tricky. I'm going for Geordie Barrett. Uh, dropped off a bit towards the end of the season, as some of these uh, New Zealanders did. But I think he has been consistently excellent. Nailed down that position. Uh, Stuart Hogg, uh, Jaminet of France, very close as well. So that's my team of the year. Please put yours in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I will catch you next time.